All right. Now that it's installed, like, and everything, it should say um, a shutdown or reboot is required. Now, I recommend a reboot. So just hit X. And your PSP is hacked. And it might do that. My PSP is like a... It's being stupid right now. Alright, now... Back to the menu or whatever. Um, now, it's hacked, basically. Or jailbroken. I like to use jailbroken better, but... Hacked is basically what it is. If you go to your system settings... You click a, uh, X and you go down to system information. It should say the custom firmware that it's on. See? 4.0, uh, 4.01 M33-2. It should give you automatically a nickname or whatever. I don't know why the heck it does that, but um, yeah. At this point, you should probably just take out the, or like shut your system off. Like, go to, hit select, go to, well, no, this is not the right version. Just turn off your PSP. And take that sucker out. Turn it off. Put it away. And just take your regular battery, place it back in. You don't want to lose that. Put that back on. Now to update, take that battery out, or that, nah, battery, nice one. Um, take the memory stick out, put that away, and um, this one, uh, I have an older software on it. It's good though, I'm not, I'm not going to say no. But I have the better software on my regular. So just put that in. Turn it on. Yeah, I hate that. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to your games and just look for the update. Let's see, where is it? Here it is. Click on that. And it should say unpack. And you might want to download it from the internet. Just click on yes. Hold on a second, and I already need to make a new connection. I'm going to scan. I'll be right back when I'm done. Alright, so now I got the internet connection. Just click on it or whatever. It should connect to access point. And you know that kind of crap, so don't even need to go over that. See, it's loading. I'll get right back to you when it's done. Alright, now it's done loading. And it's verifying the BP file or PBP. 
Jiggle. All right. Now it says press X to start update. You click on it. And you get a blue screen that's normal. It's not like you got blue screen of death or something. All right, now we're at the system software update. You just go through it as you normally would. Just accept and just hit start. Alright, I'm going to get back to you when it's done installing. Alright, now that the update's done, it's going to say press X button to restart. Don't be stupid and pull your battery out. Just hit X. Seriously. Some people are like, oh crap, I accidentally entered the wrong thing and I didn't want to install that. Oh, oh my god. I'm freaking out, dude. I'm going to pull my battery out for no freaking reason. Just go through the entire freaking setup and don't be such a see about it. Pardon my French, but whatever. Alright. Um, because I already have plugins installed, yeah, it's already up and stuff. But, yeah, that's how you update your software. Now, in my next video, I'm going to show you how to use your computer to install plugins. Now, I'll go into plugins later. But until then, this is WFD News. Well, not really news, but productions. And this is Gunslinger9000 signing off. Thank you.